I've got the wrong glasses on. Uh, sorry. Welcome to the uh, Christmas Eve edition of Cracking the Cryptic uh, and a puzzle called Thripple the Fun by Flinty. Um, and I thought, I'm recording this very late at night, it, it, it's very hard to squeeze all of the uh, all of the videos I need to make over the Christmas period into the time available. Um, but, but the puzzle called Thripple the Fun made me think I ought to have a tipple while I, while I, while I do it. And my sister uh, and her husband, Mark, bought me a, a nice bottle of Sautern. Um, so I thought I would drink this <laughs> while, while I was attempting the puzzle, um, which has got two stars out of five for difficulty. So I'm being slightly cheeky and thinking I'll be able to do it, even in a slightly inebriated state. I hope I will. Um, it, it's, it involves sort of... Um, a different sort of zipper line. It's like a zipper line, but with three elements to it. So if you're familiar with um, zipper rules, which would say that that, well, the way it works is that I think it, the digits or the cells that are an equal distance from the center of a thripple line all add up to the middle of the thripple line. So this square here is the sum of those three digits, but it's also the sum of those three digits, if that makes any sense. Um, hopefully it does. Anyway, let me take a, a sip of my glass of uh, Sotan. Yes, that is extremely nice. Thank you very much, Hannah. Thank you very much, Mark. I'm very pleased with that present. Um, and um, think about what else I need to tell you about. Not a lot. If you have been trying our 100 snack do doku pack over on Patreon, that competition has now ceased. But there is a video of me solving all 100 puzzles available for our patrons right now. Um, that might be worth having a look at here. Most of it's probably not too bad, but there are one or two puzzles that I, I have a ricket on. But out of 100 puzzles, that's perhaps not, not awful. Um, but anyway, that is available over there right now. Uh, it's Christmas Eve. I don't know at the time I'm recording this whether our Kickstarter has actually finally been sent, but it ought to have been. So I hope you're enjoying that if you supported the Kickstarter. And then I've got some birthdays to do as well. Quite a few birthdays on... Um, uh, on on Christmas Eve, actually. Let me start with Abigail, who's turned 26 today. Um, and I know this because your husband, Guy, wrote to us. Now, I have known some guys in my time. I've also known some geese in my time. I'm going to I'm gonna hope this is Guy, but it could be Gee. I don't know. Um, and apparently the two of you did the Snack Doku pack together. And at the time that Guy Gee wrote to me, you, you'd finished 52 of them. Well done. And you're over there in Atlanta, Georgia, a city I have been to once and loved immensely. Um, and I know that Guy Gee is trying to get, get some chocolate cake with the correct ratio of icing to cake, which basically proves he's a brilliant husband. So Abigail, I hope you have a great day today. Many happy returns. Um, next, Elaine. A Canadian uh, from your friend Kathy and the two of you have known each other for a secret number of years I couldn't possibly reveal what that means um, but apparently the two of you have coincidentally found yourself yourselves over in over in Blighty or near Blighty recently and you've lived on Orkney for a couple of years before returning now back to Canada um, but um, Kathy who I think has been in Oxford home of Endeavour um is 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 i, I th i'm not sure whether kathy has gone back yet or not but kathy's soon to go back but anyway elaine many happy returns and i hope you have a fantastic birthday today um back in your homeland and then mary your husband jacob wrote to us again it could be jacob how am i meant to know <laughs> it could be jacob i don't know but i think it's jacob mary um mary i really have to say i do like you um because Jacob says that you refer to your favourite people on the earth as one, your daughter, um, <laughs> two, Jacob, fair enough, three, me. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but I know that Jacob is trying to procure you um, the correct ratioed chocolate cake. I hope you get that today. Um, and then I've got uh, a couple of birthdays. I'm not sure these might be a little bit... No, this one isn't late. Joshua, 
You love all things maths, don't you? You love all things maths. Is this puzzle going to involve any maths? Um, perhaps a little bit of maths, maybe. I'm not sure. I've not done a thripple puzzle before. Um, but anyway, your dad, Joe, wrote to us and said that you've been doing the, the snack dokus together and you would appreciate a shout out. So many happy returns, Joshua. And then finally, I'm late with this one, but Carlo, you turned 11, I think, yesterday. And, and this is totally remiss of me. It's, it's partly to do with my holiday. I didn't get the message in time, um, but it was nothing to do with your dad Soren's fault. And in fact, Soren has sent me a picture uh, it's probably a bit big, but that looks a quite a good cake, I have to say. So um, I hope, Carlo, that you had a brilliant 11th birthday. And I know you had a good cake, so that's great. And that's all the news. Right. <laughs> With that said and done, I'm going to just make sure my palette is fully cleansed. Fantastic. And move on to the rules of Thripple the Fun by Flinty. And these are what this is what we have to do. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Oh, it says thripple the fun, but then it calls them thripper lines. Thripper lines. They're like zipper lines, but there are three legs rather than two, where digits an equal distance from the center of a thripper line sum together to the same total, which is the value of the digit placed in the line center, highlighted with a bump. So that's very convenient, actually. Let's just highlight all the bumps. And then as an example, it says, e.g. row three, column one, that one, plus row three, column two, that one, plus row five, column one. Yeah, okay, equals row four, column one. So that makes sense to me, because basically what we're saying is that these three digits, which are an equal digit or an equal distance in terms of sort of cells, aren't they, from this, this cell here, from the middle of the bump, they're all one cell away. Um, on various lines so this we're being told that these three cells sum to that one and that is all the rules do have a go the way to play is to click the link under the video as usual but now I get to play let's get cracking um, now I have no clue what how to do thripper lines but I know one secret of zipper lines and that secret must apply similarly here, I think. The secret of zipper lines is you can't put a nine on a line anywhere but in the middle, in, in the bump. Because if you did, let's put a nine there. It works the same for thripper lines, I think. This cell obviously now axiomatically has to be higher than nine because this digit plus this digit plus this digit equals that bump. And we can't put zeros into these squares. So that won't work. Um, so in column one, I'm going to claim ab initio that nine is in one of two places. I can't really even pencil mark that actually because I could do something like that, but I'll then forget what that means. So that's not probably how to start the puzzle. <laughs> I'm scanning everywhere else trying to think where, where I'm meant to start the puzzle then. Um, That's not ideal, actually. Well, mm, although it does occur to me that unlike zipper lines, thripper lines also have a problem with eights, don't they? Because again, I mean, if that was an eight, I think the puzzle's still broken. Because if that's an eight, I've still got to add two more digits to it. And even if these were both ones, that would still get me to 10, which can't go in the bump. So, so that must mean that in this column, well, yeah, that must mean that eight and nine are in only two positions, which does give me a pair. Um, now, does that mean anything useful? Or perhaps what we do then is ask about sevens, is it? So seven. If seven goes on a thripper line, the middle of that line must be a nine. Because seven is, imagine that was a seven. That's going to be added to two more digits, which could only be ones. And therefore we'd have to have nine on the line so or nine in the in the bump of the line 
So if 7 is in any of those 6 cells... Ah, OK. So 7 can't be in these 3. Because if any one of these was 7... I, I need to accompany the 7. Imagine that was 7. I, I need that square and that square to be the double one accompaniers. Is that a word? <laughs> Probably not. The, the double one ushers of the 7. And that won't work because you can't put two ones in box, box 1. Ah, oh dear, dear, dear. Okay, well I'm... That's annoying, actually. I've just seen something else that's far more... <laughs> that's far cleverer than anything I've done so far. Okay, I'm going to have another glass of wine. Or another... No, no, I'm not having a glass. I'm going to have a sip. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Right, I've suddenly realised something much more obvious. And... Um, jo was it Joshua? Yeah, Joshua will like this. Joshua, you could have told me this quite a while ago but you didn't bar humbug um right that's a nine <laughs> by maths not nothing to do with today because we can do it by maths because those cells are all different numbers and the triangular number for six is 21 and that's a lot so, okay, what I've now noticed is oh, my square, my my square, my square, my square and my chair are so squeaky. But um, th these digits are all different. So if, if this was the minimum they could be, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, that would add up to 21, the triangular number for, for 6. But if these add up to 21, those digits can't add up to less than 6 if these were a 1, 2, 3 triple. And that means the absolute minimum for all of those squares is 27. Now, how does how do these green squares relate to the digit in the, in the bump? Well, those three digits add up to the bump. The second cells add up to the bump and those cells add up to the bump. So in other words, if each of these adds up to X, which they do because they all add up to X, if we put X in here then the total of the green cells is 3x. And we've just worked out 3x is a minimum of 27. So it's a minimum of 9. So we can't actually... So we have to absolutely minimise the green cells in order to make that work. I'm so sorry, that's totally obvious and I didn't see it. Oh, I didn't really understand that I could, I could view the thripper lines as mathematical or, or so mathematical. So these... Right, so these digits now are 7, 8, 9 because this this line has to contain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And this, well, more, more pertinently, this part of the line has to be 1, 2, 3, because we needed that to add up to 6. Because if it added up to any more than 6, the green cells overall would add up to at least 28, and that would make this 9 point something, which is not going to work. So these are 1, 2, 3, these are 4, 5, 6, and... Ah, OK, well, that's 8 then. And 7 in the column goes there and we know because of the maths or, or the work we've already done that if you put seven on a thripper line the middle of the thripper line has to be a nine and it has to put ones into those two squares and we're away here <laughs> we're actually away um that's not one yes okay and now i can get that digit i think because that digit is now at least a 4. So let's put 4 in there as a sort of placeholder. Imagine this was only 4. What do those two squares have to add up to then? These squares have to add up to 5 or less. Now these two squares can't add up to less than 5 because they can't involve a 1 by Sudoku. So the minimum these could be would be a 2-3 pair. So the minimum for all these three sweat cells is a four here and a two, three pair here, which happen to add up to, you've guessed it, nine. So that's a four. That's not nine by Sudoku. That square's quite high now. Um, that is at least a five. I'll put that in as a uh, placer. Well, oh, I see. <laughs> okay, so now I can use this one because what's that digit? And the answer is eight <laughs> because it can't be nine by Sudoku. 
and these two squares which get added to this square to, to get to this total the bump total on this this funny line can't be less than a one two pair so the minimum we can put into each of these three squares would make this an eight and it can't be more than eight so that is five that's now three. Oh, whoopsie 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 well don't blame me it's 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 the, it's the so turn <laughs> um, a one it's looking at that one so that's a two that's a one that's a two that's a three good grief actually i might get rid of the coloring here i don't feel the color the coloring is really warranted anymore two is in one of those squares well two can't be there can it because two can't be the sum of three different numbers in sudoku oh hang on hang on hang on that square is at least six i've suddenly noticed because these three digits are all different and they're all one cell away from the bump so that is six seven eight or nine which oh is nearly interesting in row one um two three well, oh, I might have a, I might have, have I broken this? Nearly. No, it's okay. Um, right, I suddenly thought about those three digits having to add up to eight. And I noticed that there was a one looking at these two, which means the minimum these two can be is a two, three pair, which means the maximum this can be is a three. Well, it can't be less than three because one and two already see it. So that is three. And that is a two, three pair, and we can do the order look. So now two is over here. We know two can't go in the bump of a triple or a thripper. Uh, three is in the same cells as two in box number three. So these two digits, ah, uh, we could still put one there. That's annoying. Ah, one, one. We can't put one as the sum. So that's a one, two pair. We've now got in box six. So in this row, we've not put in four, six, and seven. Now let's just pencil mark that and have a look at this digit. Yeah, that can't be four because it's it's the sum of three different numbers. So in fact, if that's six, that's three. And if that's seven, that's four. Just by maths. Two. Two in this column now, because there's a two, two, three pair there and a one, two pair there. Two can't go in any of those squares. Two can't go in that square by Sudoku. So two is on the funny line at the bottom. Those two squares are a five, six by Sudoku. Um, now, what next? <laughs> uh, one is nearly interesting in box number two. Um, now what? I feel we made a good start here. One is in one of these three squares. It's probably on the line, but I don't know that for sure. Uh, yeah, apologies if you're seeing the next step. I haven't quite spotted it yet. Just give me a second. Where do we need to look? Ah, okay, that digit is at least a four. That's really annoying, actually. I, th I assumed that that being at least a four would push this up from being a six, but I don't think it does, actually. If that's a four, I could put one there and one there. And then we'd be adding four, one and one together to get six here but I suppose then that couldn't be a one so now I do think six is impossible because the only way of getting to six in the extreme cells in those three would make this not a one and this needs to be a one in order to keep those three down to six um, okay so that is at least four this is now at least seven one two no I'm still not seeing it do we have to uh, 
Ah, all right, maybe I have to do, maybe Joshua's going to be disappointed with me again. Maybe I have to do maths on this line as well. That's not impossible. Yeah, okay, that's, that is interesting. Okay, so what I'm now seeing is the following. These five digits must add up. They must add up to at least 15, mustn't they? If they were 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, they would add up to 15. Now that digit could be a 1, so that's 16. So the minimum sum of those digits there is 16. But this, that, that's adding up to x, and that's adding up to x, where x is the digit in here. So this is 2x. So if 2x is at least 16, x is at least 8. So 7 gets knocked out of here. And in fact, then, even if this was 9, these would then add, add up to only 18, wouldn't they? With these being a maximum of 15, oh, this is it, right. With these being a minimum of 15, so this has to be a 1, 2, or a 3 by mathematics, and it can't be a 2 or a 3, so that is a 1. Okay, and I imagine we must have a 1 on, in one of these two squares, because otherwise, if we if this was a 1 these squares would add up to 20, wouldn't they, at least? 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, I think, is 20. So, and 21 is halved, is, is still quite a lot, isn't it? It's 10 and a half, which we can't write into this square. So that is not 1. 1 is in one of these. 1 is in one of these. Oh, bobbins, it doesn't work. I was hopeful there for a moment. Um, so in order for this to be 8... This has to be a four, five, six triple. Which unfortunately, oh, hang on. Well, no, it's much simpler than that. That can't be one anymore, can it? Because that would be added to the two and the three to make six, which we know is an impossible total. So one goes into the wing and this square now is either six or seven, depending on the value of this square. Now I've got a six, seven pair in column eight out of absolutely nowhere. Oh, but hang on. No, that's that can't be right, because now that's going to blow up this total again. So that's double one. Yeah, that's really, that's really clever. So now if we add up these five digits and pick the minimum values we could for each cell, we could have one, two, three, that's fine. We could put six in there, so that's 12 already. And then we could have four there, which is 16 for these cells. But once we add one to that, we get 17. Once we halve 17, we get eight and a half, which means this can never be eight anymore. So it has to be nine. So that means that's a nine. This is a seven, eight pair. So these squares are from four, five, and six by just by the logic of row one. And that digit, which is added together with, oh, I see. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? So now, if, now knowing this is nine, this has to be four. Because we're adding two and three together with this digit to get to this digit. And now... With this being 9, we know that's a 7. This is, this is very clever. It's really clever. It's really it, it's, it's a nice puzzle as a way of sort of introducing whatever they're called, thripper lines to us. Now that's a 3 because we need to add 1 and 2 to 3 to get to 6. So these two squares aren't 6. If that's 3, what's this doing to anything? Anything useful? 3 is, three is there. Three is there in box number five. That's on the line. So, is that good? Well, whoa, actually we've got a, well, this is nine now. In fact, I'm now wondering whether I should have started on this line or at least gone to this line a bit sooner because that digit sees one, two, three, and four. So is at least five and it can't be more than five because it's adding to three and this digit, which must be one to get to the bump. So we get that sort of arrangement. Whoopsie. Let's get rid of the ones. 
in these squares. That's now a two by Sudoku, which means these two squares add up to seven. Um, now this is interesting. That Well, actually look, that's a two by Sudoku. So that has to be a five in order to make the maths work. And is that good? It might be. One there gives us a one, two, two, three. That's three in the corner. That's three in the spotlight. Losing its religion. Very good. Like it. So now we're away, aren't we? We need to put nine into row eight. We need to put seven. Ah, ah how disastrous series of clicks. That's got to be a seven. That's got to be a seven. So seven in one of these two. Have we done the seven, eight pair? No, apparently not. We can't put four here. Um, we can't put five there. But this this is just Sudoku now, I think. I sound surprised about that, but I think it, it is because I've done all my thripper lines. <laughs> um, so we've got five, six and eight. Well, that's a five by Sudoku. So this is a six, eight pair. Now in this column, we've not put a four, so we can put the four in. In this box, we've not put five, six and eight in, so we can put five there. Oh, we can't do the six and the eight. But now these two squares have to be somethings. Four and nine, not resolved, bobbins. Never mind. That, that gives us an eight here. That means eight is in one of these two squares. Let's have a look at this box. So this box needs five, six and nine. That's a naked single six then. It sees five and nine. So that's the five. That's the nine. That's no longer able to be six. And in this column, we've not put in fours, fives and sevens. So that's a five or a seven. And that is a four or a seven. And that's, an, that's a chocolate teapot triple. Bobbins. Okay, that's a, oh no, that's a six or an eight as well. Oh, nine here. There we go. There's a there's a digit or two that we can avail ourselves of. Now that's four. That's seven. That's seven. That's eight. That's eight. That's something. Six, I think. Um, that, that all looks like it's making some sort of sense. And what should we? Where should we look now? Maybe row three. Uh, maybe that's not five anymore. Do we know what these are? Or maybe, I don't know actually, maybe column five? Four, six, seven, eight to place. No, I don't like, I don't like that. I don't think that's where we are meant to look. I have done all the thripper lines, haven't I? I think I have. Um, we're going to be forced to do Sudoku. It's outrageous. Flinty, it's outrageous you're making me do Sudoku on Christmas Eve. I mean, <laughs> have a heart, man. Have a heart. <laughs> um, okay, let's think. Come on. Where's the easy win here? Five is in one of those two. Can I resolve it? No. Um, oh, I'm going to have to go on a pencil marking festival. I don't want to do that. I want to do this simply. Where's, oh yeah, where's nine in this box? I can do that there, it goes there. Does that help me? So in this row, I need four, six and eight and that's any of those, I think. Bother. Um, so in this column, I need four, sixes, sevens and eights, but that can be anything. Uh, the same with this digit force. Yeah, there's some I've, I've missed. I've missed something here, haven't I? Either that or I've done mathematics wrong, which is very possible in the state I'm in. In fact, let's let's just have a sip of wine just to make sure. Mm. Just to make sure everything is on an even keel. Um, sort of feel like there must be maybe it's this column four sixes sevens and eight so that square is six seven or eight that's not useful i don't think that square is four literally four six seven or eight that cannot be no don't be naughty have i d 
Right, we're going to we're going to have to do it the slow way. Twos, we're done. Double click the threes. They're all done. Double click the fours. They are not all done. No, they are not, are they? Fours are being recalcitrant. Uh, in fact, fours are being recalcitrant. Can I see anything clever that we can do with fours? Not really. Um, let's try fives. Fives were going well, but then let themselves down at the last moment. And we've got an X-wing of fives into these squares. Let's try sixes. Hardly any sixes in the grid. How appalling is that? Can we do anything clever with those? Don't think so. Sevens. Um, not seeing anything good there. Eights. We have got a few eights. But they seem to be being slightly unhelpful. Nines then. I've done all the nines. Wow. Okay, so I have missed something here. I'm confused. What is it? It must be a triple or something that either that or I've mislabeled cells. That's four or seven. So there's a five up here. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know what, I, what I've missed. It's quite exciting. Um, okay. What could it be? Oh, oh my goodness, I've just seen what it is. <laughs> it's comedy. It's absolutely comedy. It's appalling. I've been going, oh yeah, I've done all the thripper lines. This is why you should never solve Sudoku when you've had a glass of Sotern given to you by your sister. Because what you will do is you will look at this and go, well, I don't know what they are. But look, nine has to be two, one, and six. Um, nine has to be one three and five then <laughs> and so that's a four okay well that's going to make the puzzle easier four four seven <laughs> forgive me i i well i do, do i deserve forgiveness that's a good question <laughs> that's a five oops that's a five that's a six so this digit now is a four and that's going to really help that's now an eight look so that's an eight that's a six that's a six that's a seven that's a something. Eight, eight, six. There we go. It turned out not to be too difficult in the end. 112 people have done that in five days. Well, I suspect most of them did it with far more aplomb as regards those digits there, which I will now highlight in orange several times as an indication of my stupidity. <laughs> Forgive me, please. Um, yeah, it's the so turn. But... I hope I hope you still had fun. I hope you had a go at that one. That's that was very approachable, especially if you if you like your maths, because I think the way into it up there is very clear, isn't it? And then from there you can just sort of whittle down whittle down the options everywhere you go. So I suspect that we're going to get a lot of comments saying, I reckon there'll be some people who get this done in under ten minutes, um, but. If you got it under, done in under 10 minutes and you know you, you'd enjoy enjoyed some beverages this evening then very well done indeed and let me know that too i enjoy the comments especially when they're kind and we'll be back tomorrow we will be back tomorrow um with the christmas day editions of cracking the cryptic we have not missed a day now since the start of covid in the first pandemic and we are not about to start and that is why <laughs> That is why I'm reduced to doing videos at this time of night, and I hope that's okay. Let me know in the comments how you got on, and we'll be back, as I say, tomorrow, Christmas Day. Merry Christmas in advance, and see you tomorrow. Bye for now.